so welcome back so today i'm actually in my garage because i'm gonna be doing something i've never done before something a little different so lately i've just been in my comfort zone when it comes to traveling it's either i just stayed in the city that i currently live in or i went to my own hometown so now i'm ready to get out there and i want to see some new places, maybe even go camping. So that is what today's video is gonna be about. So I'm gonna be making some changes to my car and I'm so excited to bring you guys along. I will be showing you everything that I'm doing and give you a little before and after. So I'm not planning on going full on van life just because once the world is a little bit safer, I wanna start tra traveling internationally. So I just don't think it's smart to invest in a van if I just wanna resell it. This is mainly for the nights that I just don't feel like spending the extra money to sleep in a hotel or if I just decide to extend my stay somewhere just one more day. I don't want to spend the money or it's just too out of the way. I just feel like this would be so nice to just go camping under the stars, wake up right next to the ocean, whatever it may be. This is just for just those random nights. I'm just gonna be making some minor changes just so it's a little bit more comfortable. This is my trunk, I'm just gonna clear it out. What I'm planning on doing is since this chair can go down, during the days I'll keep it like this, I can keep my stuff back here, but during the nights I plan on putting that chair down um, and that one, this one right here, so I can make a bed out of it. And I'm not planning on packing too much stuff for any of my trips because if anything, I'll probably just be gone for a week or two. Mostly it'll be clothes or something. It'll all just fit in the very front. So during the day, I can keep everything back here. And during the night, I can transport everything um, to the very front seats and then lay my bed out here. I also bought a bunch of new products that I want to show with you that that'll make living on the road a little bit easier. So stay tuned for that. But for now, we're just gonna go straight into just clearing out my van, um, just getting rid of any extra weight and just vacuuming. So let's get to it. <laughs> So I have this futon from when me and my family lived in Japan. It's kind of like a really long pillow. It's pretty thin. I'm just going to use it to pad this whole backside so that it's just a little bit more comfy to lay on. And then I was just thinking just layer up some blankets and pillows and you should be all fine. So as you can see, I set it all up to how it's going to be. The layers is this top blanket that I'm just going to use, bottom blanket to act as kind of like a bed sheet, and then the futon on the bottom. I can literally sleep like this. So I can lay down in it. I would mostly have to sleep with my legs bent, but honestly, that's how I sleep anyway. I don't usually sleep in a straight line. And if anything, I can just sleep day I know. It'll just like fold over easily so then I can put it in the back. Literally, I'm just gonna be rolling it over and having the pillows tucked in. So it's like a burrito right now and then I can put the seats up. Perfect. So, I was thinking I can just leave my bed in the trunk just all rolled up and then roll it out when I need it and then just keep my clothes, everything in the second row, in the back row, 
just move my stuff into the very front row when I want to lay out my bed. Okay, so this is how my bed is all rolled up. Back seat is up. This row is empty for now, of course. So I plan on covering up these windows for when I'm sleeping in my car because I don't want anyone to be able to peek in and I'm going to be figuring this out too. I just don't want anyone to be peeking in, but we'll figure that out. Also, I have a secret compartment uh, in the trunk of my car where I keep my first aid kit and just some other stuff, some gloves, an umbrella. I used to be a lifeguard, so that's what the fanny pack is with the CPR mask. Honestly, you never know when you'll need that. And now let me show you everything that I got just to make this a little bit more bearable. Okay, so some things that I've already had in my car are these gap seat fillers. Um, it'll hold an extra cup. I have two cup holders ready. It'll hold uh, an extra cup. I also have one on the passenger side. And this one has two USB ports because I only have one with the car. So this will provide two more for any passengers that I decide to have in my car. This is just a mini trash can. I find this really helpful uh, just for some receipts because I used to have a bunch of receipts just laying around. I also had this cute little one. This teddy bear is a Kleenex holder. Some people have said that they'd rather have regular tissues in there, which I do keep regular tissues in here and it's so easy. Um, it's just that Kleenex is the tissue that comes with it. But once this runs out, you can easily just fill it up with just regular tissues instead. So the padding I'm gonna use to cover up my windows I feel like this is gonna work out really well if I just cover it up with something. I also have these snow chains for the car. I mean, I know it's not the season for that, but it's nice that I have it. You know, I have no idea where I'll end up, so I will just keep this in the car. So I also have this trunk organizer, which I feel like is gonna come so in handy just to hold everything in one basket. It's easy to transport from the back to the front. If I can just keep everything in here, I just need to clean everything out, as you can tell, but it's okay. We'll get to that point. All right, cool. So then let's go ahead and see what I have. Okay, so my first item is a laptop stand. I plan on using this, you know, if I decide to do some work during the night and I want a table or when I make a stop and I just want to eat some food on a mini table, that's why I got this laptop stand. Let's go ahead and open it up. So this is this. It has a little hole in the middle uh, to act as an air vent for if my laptop overheats or anything. So this is what it looks like all out. I feel like this is really practical because the fact that it can easily collapse to something so thin just have to maneuver it a little bit. It's so practical. So it it would be a good um, laptop stand for if I want to put my laptop here and have it at an angle. And there's different levels you can have it at. You can see the little ridges. If I just want to eat and have it flat, literally just have it flat. And it's pretty good height to just keep while I am crisscrossed. So I have a laptop stand, first one for working and for eating. Next one, I got this at a warehouse sale. So it's like a blanket. I'm deciding on either using this as an extra layer for blanket during the night or just use it as like a little picnic blanket. I feel like it'll just really come handy. That's why I brought it and it looks really cute too. Next, I feel like I would never be able to sleep in my car unless I have this. So this is actually a stun gun. It is fully charged right now, but I'm not going to turn it on because apparently it's really bad um, if you just shoot it into the air. But this is also a flashlight. So I feel like this would come really in handy. I just don't think I could handle sleeping in my car in the middle of the woods 
by myself if I didn't have this. My paranoid could never. So this is next, a stun gun. Next thing I have, I just got, it's a portable jump starter. So let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, so this is the device. Wow, it's actually like pretty heavy, but the reason why I decided to get this is because first it's a portable jump starter and I feel like that just come really handy, especially if I'm in the middle of the woods and like what if there's no one around. I'm hoping this is really reliable. I haven't uh, charged it or anything yet. I did hear some good reviews. So these are the ports it has. So this one is used if you need to jumpstart your car. Two USB ports. And the main reason why I wanted this specific one is because it has an outlet. Pretty much just like a portable uh, charger. Also, you can jumpstart your car. I feel like this is really practical. Also, it has a flashlight too. Oh, so it does. <laughs> I didn't even charge it yet, so it works. I feel like it's gonna be a really good investment. And it also came with this little pouch. It contains the charger the little cables, a car charger, and a USB. I believe this is to a micro USB, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, so all that comes in this and it was $100 on Amazon. Next thing I got is a phone mount. I have never even had one, I'm surprised it took me this long to finally get one, but this is just uh, something just so I would be able to record the, the road while I'm driving without actually having to hold my phone, you know, uh, for cool time lapses or honestly just to have my phone on display. This is gonna be a windshield car mount. I'm so confused because this thing is on the same side as the suction cup, which is supposed to go on the windshield, and then this, what holds my phone, is supposed to attach to it, but it's in the direction of where it's supposed to hold on to the windshield. Oh, I'm so dumb. It's because it's flexy. Like I literally am just supposed to bend it the direction I want it. Cool. Okay, so I'm planning on putting it probably like on my windshield like this and then it'll just hold. It's a little clamp. Can you guys tell it's a little clamp to just hold my phone. So it'll make the phone um, landscape or portrait. Cool. And it comes with a little attachment too, if you want to attach it to your dash. But I'm not planning on doing that just because I just feel like whatever you put on your dash is going to melt um, if it's sticky. So I'm just going to keep it on my windshield. Alright, so that's going to be the end of my video. Don't forget to go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button down below and then we'll see you out on the road. <laughs>